coming up on season 20, episode uh, 8 of Lab TV, the year's ultimate episode, number 128, uh, featuring the highlights, low lights, and in between lights of the grade four camp and promo the United Student Council Yum! and Fun Day event coming up on May 25th. And something completely different from Rosalina and Rory. Hi, I'm Toby. I'm Emma. And I'm Chloe. Welcome to the show. That's brighter than President Trump's sentence and funnier than a puppy with a baby. <laughs> Last week was a busy week for Great Four with the sleeping structures, camp, and boat races. No, Emma, it wasn't last week. It was the week before. No, it was definitely last week. It was last week for us, but it's going to be the week before last week for them because they won't watch this until next Monday. I know this is a little bit Doctor Who with the whole time thing, but that's how it works. Got it? Got it. It was next week for them, but last week for Doctor Who, because next Monday he's getting a time machine. Um, close enough. Let's go and check out highlights from this year's Grade 4 camp.
Grade 4 did an awesome job with our boat building. I especially thought my team did a fantastic job. Not only did our boat manage to hold four people, but it also managed to hold half the water from the swimming pool as well. Anywho, moving on, on May 25th, the UC, USC is organizing a yum and fun night, which should be lots of fun and yum. Here are Shine and Sophia to tell us more about it. Do you like dodgeball? Do you like handball? Do you like capture the flag? If you do, then you gotta come to the Yum and Fun Day. What's the Yum and Fun Day? Yum and Fun Day is where you play fun games and eat yum food. What's yum food? You know, tasty food. What day is the Yum Fun Day? It's on May 25th, starting from 3.30 to 5. How do I sign up? You can ask your class USC rep to find more about how to sign up. Can't wait to have some of that yum food. Back to the studio. Now it's time for something so completely different. You might have think you have stopped watching web TV and tuned into another show by mistake. Wow, that is different. What show might you think you've tuned into? Um, I don't know. I was just trying to make the point that the next segment is very different from what we normally do on WAP TV. Really? So what do we normally do on WAP TV? Um, you know, bad jokes, bad acting, kind of silly stuff. Right, so this next segment is completely different to that? Actually, now I think about it. It's time for something completely normal. We're not the BBC. We're not your auntie. We are here to interview Mr. Cow because we heard a rumor saying that this is his very last year at WAP TV. Is that true? Yes, Chloe and Rosalina, it is true. This is my very last ever episode of WAP TV because I'm going to go and be a grade 3 homeroom teacher next year. Me too! You're going to go and be a grade 3 homeroom teacher? No, because this is my last episode of Web TV. Why? Because the ASA is finished. Okay, I guess that's true. What was the most challenging part of Web TV? Well, I think the most challenging part of Web TV is writing the scripts. And I know the jokes aren't brilliant, but after a while, you just, you just run out of them and you find yourself staring hopelessly at a computer screen, just hoping something creative is going to pop into your head. Me too! Oh, you find it hard to write scripts as well? No, because I always stare hopelessly at a computer screen. What is your favourite memory at WAP TV? Well, I've got lots of really special memories, but I think my favourite memories is when I'll just be walking around the school, like in the atrium, and uh, one of the students will see me and they just drop their brownie on the floor and they come running up to me and tell me one of those really bad web TV jokes. And I think that's my favourite memory. Me too! Oh really? Kids come up to you as well and tell you their favourite web TV jokes? No, because I always drop my brownie. What well, won't you miss about web TV? What won't I miss? Well, I find it um, really hard to answer that question. Me too! Um, because Web TV has been, you know, it's been such a big part of my life for the last six years. Me too! But if I had to choose one thing I'm not going to miss about Web TV. Me too! It would probably be um, Rosalina. Me too! What? Sorry, girls. I just couldn't resist one more bad Web TV joke. Anyway. Back to the studio. Time out for this week's reminders. If you're watching this on Monday, today is the last day to get your permission slips for the USC Yum Fun Day. If you are watching this after Monday, we have some bad news for you. Monday was the last day to get your permission slip for the USC Yum Fun Day. Sorry about that. This Friday evening is the Identity and Folks Festival and Jazz in the Park in the Hub. 
Go like to Joe and Eric who submitted their fruit trap video. The day after that is the annual fun fair and rock in the park. Starting at 3 p.m. on that Saturday on Tiger Field and at the Hub. Bring your whole family and have a great day out. From Wednesday to Friday, Grade 5 will be on their Wab Wild Camp at Survivor Island. Stay safe, Grade 5. Watch out for wild bears and tigers and unicorns and stuff. Unicorns? Well, maybe not unicorns or tigers or bears. Okay, Grade 5. Watch out for getting some Prickles on your fingers! Anywho, that's it for this episode. This season, this year, this era. So until next September, I'm Emma, I'm Toby, and I'm Chloe. You, you just, just watched season 20, episode 9. nine. That's totally wrong, Toby. Is it? Oh yeah, it doesn't even rhyme. No, Toby. It's not episode, oh, whatever. Let's just watch some more Puppy with Baby videos. We're not the BBC. We're not your MTV. We're not your Thanks, Mr. Cow. Thank you, 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 Mr. Cow.